Hello, welcome. It's quilting time. Hello, okay. honey. How are Let's you? Let's do that then. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that then. No, it is. But it is. Um, I don't think. Have we had any other sewing shows today? I haven't been here. I've just got here. Oh, just got <laughs> not that I've done. And you're not, not allowed to watch the telly in the car. Oh no, they don't driving. like that, do they? No, they don't like. No, they frowned upon. Yes. Frowned upon. <laughs> um, so you have brought us some lovely quilt kits. I have. So this is Fabric Freedom. Fabric Freedom have had a number of shows here, and they always bring the most beautiful collections. They design with kind of collections and quilting in mind. So you have really nice kind of small, delicate prints, ones that are easy to use into those smaller patterns that you want to do. And this is the Town by the Sea. Uh, this is a beautiful quilt collection. We have some finished samples, which we'll show you in a little bit, but you've got three different colourways in this. So on the top, you've got the teal and the orange. Nice. It's fresh, isn't it? It is. This is my favourite colourway in this. And I, I live by the seaside. And Do this you? is my favourite colourway in this one. Uh, because the seagulls I love feel the seagulls. right. I think it's the seagulls feel right. Even though, I, I must admit, um, the ones that live by the sea, that's fine. The ones that live in the town centre, oh, they're evil. They are, aren't they? They're, they're naughty. Still your chips. They do. I've had it happen. <laughs> I don't share chips. Well, you ask my children. Okay. <laughs> right then. I'll stay over here then. I haven't got any chips. So you're all right. right. You're safe. You're safe. <laughs> um, seagulls don't, don't come near. I know you're right. The seagulls are fab on these. Really enjoying this. They tool. are really, really cute. Um, so that's the teal and orange option. We've got a blue and red option, which is the kind of more traditional, maybe seaside colours. Yeah, sort of so you've got those feel. beautiful kind of, it has got a nautical feel to it, but it's that kind of classic blue and red. And you're getting five different patterns within there, and we'll go through those in a, in a second. I'll just do all the colourways first, and then I'll take you through the way that Fabric Freedom kind of construct their okay. um, collections. And well, the one I, that you've yeah, got on I your side, that, you is, that one's very, very cute as well. That one's blue and pink. It says blue and pink, but it's got quite a lot of it's that purple, kind of soft green it? in there as well. Yeah. And look, 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 very, look, very at cute. The, look at the little seagulls here. If only seagulls were actually that cute. I know. They're not, though. They're about the size of a fox and they're sitting on top of your car and you're like, it's all right, I'll just, I'll just, I'll get, just leave in a minute. I'll, I'll just fine. walk. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> are you getting the pattern on the backing fabric too, aren't you? You are. This you're is, getting this a, is a full quilt kit Whoa, 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 whoa. So Saving usually, £37? Yes, usually um, what Fabric do, Freedom do is they will give you kind of half a metre of metre of each um, and kind of let you do your own thing with it, but they'll include the pattern as well. Mm. But this time they put absolutely everything that you need in there to make that whole so quilt. So just pick so it your says own wadding. On the, it says on the front all the sizes that you need and that's what you're getting in there. Fabulous. Isn't that great? Easy as Do that. you know, that <laughs> is an incredible, incredible value kit. Uh, saving £37. And of course, you can split that. You can split that over two months. £37.50. So that's the pink option, pink blue option that you can see there. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> I'll, I'll just hide down here, shall I? <laughs> that's the uh, pink and blue option and moving across that's the teal and orange option when it's actually fully made up into a quilt which is absolutely stunning and the way that fabric freedom do their patterns is they generally have one kind of big feature block mm. and then they repeat that feature block three or four times within the quilt and you can obviously extend it further these aren't the full 70 inch quilts that we've got here these are smaller kind of sample versions your ver you've got enough fabric to make that 70 inch quilt 70 inches is huge yes it's huge Sorry. in terms of a quilt <laughs> really huge yes it is it's a, it's a nice big size and <laughs> um, and the way they put their collections together is, is very, very clever and they really, really think about it. They design for the, the, you know, exactly what the UK market asks them for. Their customers ask them for smaller prints they bring and that's it. what they give they them. They bring it. So you usually will get a feature fabric, which is the one we've got on the top here. That's your biggest print and will have all of your elements in that you'll see echoed through, throughout the other fabric. So for example, in this one, you can see we've got their little houses there. With and the seagull on top. Next one that you've got along, you can see those houses are repeated. You've got the little boats and anchors, and they're in that next one along there. So you can see all those elements starting to pull through. And then if you come the other way, you can see in the sea, you've got those little fishes. And there they are there. And on the top of the house, as you pointed out, you've got the seagull. 
And yeah, sorry, I got excited by the there. seagull. <laughs> Just, just, oh, seagull. It's like I do. Oh, shiny. <laughs> off you go. Off, yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, shiny. All my dogs when they see a squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> and what the, the beautiful thing is, is that actually when you look at the quilts from here, those seagulls actually become the equivalent of the ditzy print. Yes. And, and so yeah, you've got absolutely. those different size scales. You've got the, you've got the, the deep, the mid-tones and, and the And this lights. is what they do so well. Yeah, they kind of do a complete collection. And then um, it's all ready to go for you. You don't have to think about finding those matching Firstly, fabrics. I can't believe that this is a 77, uh, 70 by 70 it's quilt. It's huge. And secondly, I can't believe the price. I can't believe the discount that we've got on it. Um, and I can't believe that this also includes your backing fabric Yes, as so well. it is a plain white. And there is a little bit of plain white used within there as well. So um, including the backing. Um, I think there's about three and a half to four metres in there. Ooh. There's a huge piece in there as well. Fabulous. Six, seven, one, six, six, eight. You choose which colour. Now, obviously, you could swap that out for something else if you wanted a, maybe a darker backing on your on your quilt. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, if, if it's going to want, it's going to get used quite a lot. Sometimes it's nicer to put a darker backing on because it just doesn't, oh, show, doesn't show the mark. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, a fleece is a great idea to put on them because that kind of does two things at once. It's yeah. a lot. It's a lot. If it's one that you're easier. actually going to use and yeah. snuggle under, then you you know. And a fleece backing's great if you're going to use it as a picnic blanket as yes. well because that fleece it's not waterproof, but it has a little bit of kind of moisture yeah. resistance in it. And that that white you will use as well. Oh, so yeah, it's you one can that use you'll it for use absolutely yeah. anything. Yeah, yeah, fabulous. Good. Six seven one six six eight. Should you have a look at the next one? Yes, the springtime oh, no. quilt. This one is beautiful you've got three different color options here and you are getting your backing fabric as well this one is a 64 inch by 64 inch it's quilt very so sizable it's another whopper um, so this <laughs> is your first colorway these ones here the purples yes that's the the purple option now um we've got three different color options in this and they kind of quite nicely go together mm. so i would be tempted to kind of mix and match these together a little bit especially uh, with that's why I put the green you. in the middle. It wasn't yeah. the order they were on the um, the show, but because that one's in the middle, you can see you could use those two together, yeah. and it would be beautiful. Or you could swap it and use those two together. It'd be beautiful. You could use pink and the purple together. You could absolutely. Oh. They do mix and match beautifully. But if you are just using one, then you can either choose your purple fabrics, your tealy fab fabrics, because they're tealy good, <laughs> and then you've got your pinks over here, which are got absolutely three lovely. Beautiful beautiful options in the colours there and I've got two made up on the back here again these aren't the full size quilts these are a, 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 kind of a, a taster size quilt because I think the full quilt can I just borrow that 64 by 64 yeah what you've got here is you can see on the on the, I don't know where I need to hold it well, I'll just stay still somebody will find it there you go you can see these are three by three mm. in their block and so the ones got that another... we've got here are just uh, two by two so you'll have another one so you'll have the, half as much again yes dun, dun. So and half as much again and half as much again along again the bottom. There. So that or is sizable. Because that's the same amount of fabric, you could actually make two lap sized quilts oh. or change the format so it's maybe a bed runner or something Lovely. that's just twice that distance. So yes. literally from here, those two quilts together you could make it's in that distance you. or you can make a bigger square. Once you make that block, once you can make that block and you've got the instructions to do so, yeah, you, you make it to how you want and it. It's exactly These are just serving suggestions, yes, aren't exactly. they? Yes, exactly. And it's a, the same principle. That one large block is how they design a lot of their quilts. They'll design it as one large block and then you repeat that block. So if you want to, as I said, change the format, make it longer and thinner or make it taller and short, you know, you can do that. You can move it around. Perfect. Um, now let's have a look at the prices that we're looking at for these. 64.45. A £30 saving. You can't have any. We need them for customers. <laughs> but I would be a customer. <laughs> right? Okay. 676274. <laughs> I just can't believe the value of that. It's incredible. Absolutely yeah, incredible. Really, really lovely. Um, two flexi payments oh. as well if you wish to make I'll be there a, in a minute. flexi buy you over that. Come on, drag your box, woman. Drag your box. Oh, push in your box. Push the box. Oh, oh, push, oh, the box. push the box. Push the box. Watch your feet. Oh, thanks for putting flat shoes on, though. So That's much appreciated. That's okay. Pleasure. Pleasure, yeah. pleasure. <laughs> uh, we've got a pick and mix. Yes. These come in pairs. Oh, they're so not in, sorry, not pick and you've mix. You've got in pairs. the one at the top is the sky blue. That's so lovely, they're your isn't it? lightest ones. So you've got half a metre of each. You've got your boats mm -hmm. and then you've got your little uh, beach huts. 
as well. You can see it's the same colours running, the same blues and kind of teeny colours running through both of them, so they will go together really, really nicely. Then you've got your mint in the I middle. I like the mint. And then your classic kind of nautical colours again at the bottom there, and this option is called periwinkle. Very nice. Very nice. Nine ninety nine. Very, very cute. Four. That's going to be, is it a metre of each? Half a metre of each. Do you know what? So no. it's a metre in total for nine ninety nine. I would be. That's pretty good. For I you, would be tempted it? to use those as a backing mm. for the one day special, because mm. I believe if you multi-order on these, they will come as a continuous piece. Obviously, not this attached to this, but it will yes. come as, or even just a really basic striped backing nice. for it. Would oh, be like, yeah. great at like these. a beach hut. Beach huts, then like well basically like that yes these then beach huts then more of those but all the same like so the same like two chair. colors yes but on the back yes perfect Ooh, no nice to nice. play with that For a full meter <laughs> now um these are your meter pieces of canvas yes. now these are really really long these are um well i've measured well i've, I've well, used wide, the haley unit use it of measurement and they're at least uh, 60 inches i would say they're slightly bigger so for anybody that doesn't know the haley unit of measuring is basically I, I you use body off, parts yeah. don't they so yeah it is. and wherever they come to on your body yeah, you kind of know it is. that yeah. yeah how do you think hands and feet came about right exactly yeah I'm just exactly. going for a whole new unit of measurement. Who who actually looks after like registering units of measurement? Well, I don't know. Is it somewhere in France? I've got a feeling it's somewhere in France. Are we blaming the French? I think about writing the letter. You do that. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> okay, now measure measure fabric in Haley's. Yeah. Um, talking of French uh, brown uh, French <laughs> navy stripe. There. So we are going to beautifully into we that. We are going to keep Kelly. those. We are going to keep these super still because I know that if we start wiggling them about, your tellys go mad. Oh yeah, With yeah, yeah for stripes. stripes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are really I'll nice. That down, they're, they're almost like a, um, a, a canvas that you'd see on deck chairs. Yes. So that's why we've kind of brought them because it's all kind of this kind it's of seaside nautical, nautical, themed, nautical, nautical apart but from nice. random flowers. Um, well, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, but you know, yeah, in, springtime. Um, um, so you've got your brown stripe. Oh, look at this. Candy well, and pink. Candy and mint. Kind of try to put them in almost pairs, so you're getting um, a plain stripe and then you're getting another one. Now they will all run in the same direction. We've just done this to break it up and help the cameras a little bit because when there's lots of stripes together, oh, they go, nuts. Yeah, they yeah. go a bit bonkers and everybody at home will have headaches. Um, <laughs> so we've kind of broken them up, but all the stripes do run kind of side to side on the fabrics, not kind of up and down. Um, so you've got your red stripe and then you've got the red navy, candy pink, Candy and mint, so that's really unusual mm, for a candy. There's usually kind of such harsh deck chair colours, and then that one's really kind of candy floss colours. Yes. It's really, really cute. Yes. And then you've got your brown and navy. Oh, sorry, brown and navy, and uh, brown and brown, brown and navy. navy. Yes. Determined to put the navy in there. Oh, freedom members. Oh, that's yeah, sneaky. Quids in, quids in. You can get your meter for thirteen pounds and forty nine pence. And this is a really nice kind of thick, heavyweight canvas. This, so you, you beach bags. It's perfect for that. Beach bag bags. making. And the reason that I say this bags is a stunning option for bag is making is because of the size. Yes, home decor though. These yeah. are a lovely heavyweight for home they decor. Are. I mean, bean bags, chairs. I was I was thinking upholstery chairs oh with them because it's nice. Uh, it's a nice kind of heavyweight one. Yes. And also again, not that I seem to I seem to sound like I spill a lot of things here, but. Um, <laughs> Eating is a problem. <laughs> just spilling stuff. <laughs> My grandmother always used to tell me, just follow the sound, dear, just follow the sound. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Rude. What? Follow the sound. Then you okay. won't... As in, I talk too much. And, uh, and if I followed the sound, the food would go in oh, my mouth. Oh, got it. Yes. Right, with you now. Yes. I've been struggling with lots of things today. <laughs> I've got it's all right. It's all right. I've got <gasps> Stitch's head, though. You know, when you've, you're kind of getting ready for a show. Yes, and you're so and in it. so in there. And but then if I've you got go to run down field. here and squeeze this in between. But it's all good. We're all good. Now, we've got a pick and mix. Half a metre. Again, nautical themed. Yeah. Um, half a metre on... And it's any two that you, we've got here. And these so are poplins. They are a poplin weight. You've got the, <laughs> these are pretty straightforward. Uh, so you've got the boats on the black and you've got the little boats on the navy as well. You've got these ones, which are the I nautical like themed ones. Yeah. Now that's quite a nice one for paper piecing and fussy cutting mm. little elements yes. out of. English so you've got it in the red 
and in the black. And then we've got the anchors, which again, I'm going to try not to move for you because mm -hmm. I know they are terribly wobbly when you start to move them. Uh, you've got the anchors, there's three different colours in there. You've got the sky blue, the navy and the mint. And then I like that mint. It's unusual, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I think again for, for beach bags, because these things all take a little bit of time to make. Mm. I mean, what about one of these with that as a lining? Oh, Ooh, this oh, one. Oh, the pink, yes. This, this one and this one. That's the one. That's the one. That on the outside, that, that on, on the inside. inside. With the pockets. pockets. Oh, pockets. Yes. <laughs> we appear to have now got on yes. the same page. <laughs> <laughs> it only took a pocket. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, and then we've got dolphins. Again, on that same stripe. So these will work really nicely together because you've got the same colourways and the kind of same width of stripe. So it's the same kind of backing fabric with alternative prints on the top. So are we going top to bottom? Okay. So you've got the wine kind of colour, the like deep red nice. at the top. I think they're calling it maroon. You've got the navy. This one is a slightly is the different colour. I think that the, the sky, sky blue is at the bottom. There, and you mint there. Then what if, what's the other blue? It's like a bluey grey. Let's just call it blue. blue. Let's just go with blue then. Shall we? Yeah, let's Should not just complicate call it, blue? it. Yeah, okay. let's just not complicate <laughs> it. Um, do you know what I would be doing? What would you be doing? Well, you see, my son loves a bit of a nautical theme. He Does was he? born in Cornwall, mm -hmm. and so he tells everybody his Cornish. Okay. Um, so actually, anything <laughs> nautical, he absolutely right. loves. Yeah. I'll be making him a pillow or something out of this oh, for his little, bed. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, I mean, poplin's a great weight for that kind of, nice that and kind soft, of thing. It's nice and soft, isn't it? And it's really, really soft against yeah. the skin, so it's perfect for and that. And it will wash and it, wash and wash. And it's great for, um, I mean, poplin is essentially a shirt material. Yeah. It's a shirting pajamas. material. So you absolutely you can make pajamas out of there it. There we go. There the we only go. thing I would say is with pajamas, um, obviously if they're pajamas for children, then you need to make sure you just put a um, flame retardant yes. spray on them. Yes. There we go. Fourteen ninety nine for a metre <laughs> where you can pick and mix two. It might be, if you want a metre of one, you just put two units of, say, one, and then you'll or get your metre of that. Backings, yeah. especially this one. I'm, go I'm going oh. to get a blue one. Stay there. Oh, I'm going to get a blue. She's off. No, I'm going to get this bit of blue. Oh, she's back. Because we I think either with yes. this one, this one, or even with the little boats and, and one of those. It's if you might wanted to plan the show. <laughs> Isn't it? Look at that. Oh. Oh. Now you've done it. Oh. Yeah. Punchy red background. Yeah. Why not? Oh, well, well what about then your... Uh, oh, dolphins. Dolphins. Just draw some in. Yeah. <laughs> Freestyle, just get your biro out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've got some, I've got some proper pens for fabric, <laughs> so we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Sorry. Messing about right, now, you we? can chop a hoy. <laughs> ahoy. You can chop a hoy on the web. <laughs> It is appropriate. Well, yes. I mean, that's unusual, but it, yeah, actually being appropriate. Um, they Are you often inappropriate? No. All yeah. the time. <laughs> I couldn't possibly comment. Uh, so you yes, can then. shop it. <laughs> oh, we've got the iron. Ooh. Oh, and my favourite rotary cutter. How, oh, do you like that one? I love that one. <laughs> yes, I really do. And they are my scissors there. The easy action scissors. Oh, I, like, I do like the Love scissors. Those. The springy scissors. Have you ever used the rotary cutter in power mode? That's what I call it. What, on, uh, on the wonk? No, when it's when oh, it's the handle over underneath. The yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, yes, I have. I've done that with it. What am I over? Eighteen layers of fabric that with bits like that. Lot. Because all of your power goes directly over it. Where's the other bit? I so ironed. Oh no, I've Is lost bit acid it on, on it. Floor. Yes. Um, and that's why I love it. Oh. Right, uh, let's have a look at this. What okay. Oh, favourite colour is the blue and orange. Oh, here we go. Oh, the, yes. Ta da! It's like, it's again, it's like we planned this. That's it. That's <laughs> it. Um, we what, didn't. What have you done? Okay, so what we've I've done is instead of using the quilt pattern which yep. we've got up here I've rogue. kind of gone a little bit rogue and done it as a little bit of a, a strip quilt so I've kind of drawn out some of the houses that you can see on the top there and kind of replicated them oh, nice. in kind of larger format cracked a seagull on just for good did. measure pushed it <laughs> of course it did kind of needs a name now does he yeah well now he's mm. a feature Okay, it's a feature. <laughs> it's a feature. Everyone should mm. have a feature seagull. Okay. I've got plenty. <laughs> I've got plenty. <laughs> so what we've got here is... Oh, is that upside down? No, it's the right way up. 
Oh, it goes right way up and upside down. That means the quilt can go any way up, so that's fine. Which is a um, great design feature. Yes, it may have been a mistake. 10% uh, <laughs> of the teal and orange is gone, by the way. So I am going to... That's my bit that I'm going to put on the bottom of there. So I'm going to just finish um, doing a little bit of satin stitch to attach the rest of these little bits and bobs on here. What and thread then are you using? Because this has got a lovely It's lovely, lobster. isn't it? Yeah. That is the marathon thread. It's the viscose. Oh, okay. And it works... Obviously, the marathon thread is, the viscose especially, and the polyesters are designed to be used in industry. So right. they're designed to be on uh, logos, on t-shirts. So the viscose is a lighter weight one. You'd use that on t-shirts, you'd use that on shirts and things because it's, it's got lots of movement to it. Yeah. For that yeah. thick um, uh, piece of embroidery, that's an awful lot of movement in it. Yeah. So. Um, it's a really, really nice one for doing this kind of nice satin stitch work. Yeah, um, yeah. And I've got one of their oh, ones. Oh, I nice. know, it's beautiful. I've got one of their variegated ones because I thought it might go quite nicely with yes. the kind of seaside theme. And we can maybe do a little bit of a, a kind of quilt design on the back as well. Mm. So this is kind of an alternative if you um, like the patterns, but you don't want to put them into that particular quilt. I'm just showing different ways that you well, can work with Well, once you've them. got a whole load of fabric, it's up to you what you fancy doing with it, isn't it? Quite yes, frankly. it is. Yeah. So, uh, first, I've got a little bit of grey on, so what I might do is just do a couple of satin stitch techniques to, to get this window on. Or oh, I might put some curtains in. Should we put a couple of curtains Very in? homely. <laughs> Very homely. Why not? Actually, I've, there's no curtains. Well, I have got some curtains, but I've been in there about ten years and there's still curtains it's missing that I, I know but why well, haven't got time because I'm always here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the truth of it, it is see. true yeah. it is true so let me just grab this machine and I'm not going to stitch this piece on the bottom yet because um I want it to kind of go across the bottom of these okay. houses to kind of hold them in a little bit further right so what we might do is just do a little bit quick bit of satin stitch on there just to yeah. get that stuck down a nice bit canvas there i know i'm mixing mm. it up just yeah, chucking the it. knot in you've you've delved into your stash yes you? i have yeah. I just chucked it. well it was what i had to hand mm. i think <laughs> is that oh that is stuck on i thought that wasn't oh even better oh, if it's stuck on then i know that never happens <laughs> <laughs> Revel in it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to switch this over to a satin stitch. So is this just a normal, what width satin stitch are you going to go for? Well, it's Amy? up to you. And I think it's about how much confidence you have in your ability to kind of hit that mark. Okay. Because realistically, I prefer to stitch so I'm catching most of that fabric in. Yeah. And just kind of kissing the, the edge to make okay. sure that it doesn't kind of overlap right. anything no, and you can't see any bits of that coming out. I'm just going to check my width on this. Um, so these ones, because it's quite a big chunky piece, I've done it with quite a... Sorry, it's the most anti-social sewing machine <laughs> in the world, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> just like, blah, blah, blah. Just peering around, <laughs> around the side, it's fine. But um, you can do kind of really fine ones. We've got some kind of bits where we've tapered it in for the oh, beak and things. Beak. Nice. And uh, depending on your machine, yep. it depends on as to whether you can do that. Because if you've got a, a quite um, a straightforward machine, one of the mechanical ones with the big turny knob, then sometimes that kind of thing isn't achievable. Usually if you've got one of the ones that are digital, you can do that. Or if you've got one of the really old school ones, which I love, then you can on there because usually the, the kind of slider for the zigzag... I've got one of those. I've got yes. half a dozen. <laughs> yes, yes. I've got ones you go like that with. I've got oh, ones you got pedals for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when we you. used to, when we used to teach classes, we always used to teach them on those really basic machines because can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong with them, and with some of the the machines that you can get that are kind of the entry level ones, they can be ever so bouncy because mm. there's just no weight to them. But the the proper car style. I learned yeah. on my grandmother's fifty yeah. year old it's, singer. It's the way to go. I did a straight stitch it's and a zigzag. That's it. That's and all you need. If I couldn't do it with a straight stitch or a zigzag, it didn't happen. You don't need to happen. do it. No. You don't need to do it. No. I mean, some of the fancy stitches are lovely, and we'll use some of those around the back of here to show kind of how you can include them. Because there's a lovely stitch on here which is like a, a scalloped one, so we can use that to put oh, little I use seagulls. That for waves and we can use like it to put yeah. seagulls in yeah, the yeah, background yeah. up here. Yeah. So we'll put this window on first, then we'll do some seagulls. Oh, um, DIY. Why not? I'm just going to put that up to a three mil, and then I'm just going to check where it's starting off to make sure I'm on the outer edge of there, and slow it down because that's the other thing. Just don't go racing don't ahead. Go nuts. Yeah. 
that's it. So all I'm doing, I'm trying to catch as much of the fabric on this side. Mm. As I'm going to just turn that around for you, Holly, a little bit, because I know you try, you struggle to get in. There you go. Because this is a big machine and it's got quite a lot of kind of stuff here, which it wouldn't usually have, which I think it, we sometimes struggle getting, getting in. Oh, I've just moved my fabric a little bit. There we go. So I'm trying to catch as much of this fabric as I can, this grey one, because if you just catch like half of it or you catch the end of it, so you're, you're kind of sewing down the middle, then what will happen is you might not get a good enough grip on that fabric. And if you come to wash it, then that's when it can start kind of going a little wrong. So I'm trying to catch most of the grey. And then I'm also just catching a little bit of that, that yellow to make sure it's, it's kind of hiding that raw edge. And then I'm going to put a little curvy corner on. So because I'm curving my corner around the outside, I need my needle on the outer edge. I'm going to lift it, just turn it kind of 45, put two or three stitches in. Just keep it on the outer edge, turn it another 45. Again, another few stitches, needle on the outside and then all the way and that should hopefully give me a nice flat I might do one more oh outer edge that's it there we go and we're straight again and that should give me a nice kind of rounded corner on there and you just go all the way around maybe I can go a little bit faster than that I was a bit I was a little bit punchy on turning it right down there on the straight <laughs> bits well, on the straight well, bits, it's it's fine. You know, you can go a little bit a little bit faster. But the key to this is let the machine do its its own work. Because what you'll get is you'll get a nice even stitch on that back. I'll flip it back around so you can see what's coming out the back. And um, you'll get a nice even stitch if you let the machine mm. do its work. If you start trying to push it and pull it through, that's when you'll start getting kind of almost it looks like missed stitches, but it's not really. It's just you kind of pulling it through and getting it getting it kind of bunched up a little bit get to the end again and then we'll just take it easy around that corner two or three stitches at a time just turning it a little bit turning it a little bit and that will stop you getting that big lumpy corner so right we're on that next corner I'm gonna go to the outside and then just turn it a little bit To the outside, turn a little bit, Ooh, back to the outside, turn it a little bit, oh, oh, back to the outside, or if it's, whichever is the outside of the corner, that's where you want to be to get your kind of best results, oh I need one more turn in there, I think I've got a square edge on this one. It's a good corner. Very good corner, well done, Hayley. Thanks. <laughs> but that little technique of little turns, little turns, little turns will give you those nice kind of smooth corners than the big chunky ones. I'll do it there on this corner where I've just turned the whole thing and you'll kind of see the, the difference. So I'll come right up to the edge, leave it on the corner, leave it on the outer edge, turn the whole thing in one go, and then we'll come back along. And you can hear the machine going bang, bang, bang over the top of it because what will end up from this one is a big lumpy corner where I've got... I'll, I'll have to get all the way along now so I can get it out and show you. <laughs> <laughs> I've committed. Have I run out of thread? No, nope, we're good. We're Are you playing Bob and Roulette? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so I might need you to do some numbers in a little bit so I can no, fill it No, 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 that's absolutely <laughs> fine. Absolutely fine. Um, so what we've got for you today is your Fabric Freedom Tan by the Sea Quilt Kit. This is a whopping 70 by 70 inches. Or just use the fact you're getting loads of fabric. You've got three options. You've got teal and orange, blue and red, or blue and pink. And uh, which one's in the lead? Teal that's and orange the in the lead. One. Oh, that's because Hayley says it's the best one. And uh, you... <laughs> okay. Now, that's what we also have for you today one. are some blender fabric. Now, these are on a pick and mix. Hayley, am I right in thinking that when these have been taken off the bolt, they have been, they've been ripped rather than cut? Um, uh, well, sometimes, like they, sometimes they cut them, sometimes they rip them. 
we tend to rip all of ours yeah. just because then you're getting a straight straight bit. line yeah. you see sometimes people panic when they get their fabric and, and it's, it's been ripped yeah. but it's, it's like the old school better. way of it's doing it it's far better to do because it because then you know you've got an absolute yeah. straight because it's gone with the hang on the warp goes up and the weft goes left you're going oh, with the, <laughs> that's lovely you're going with the weft well, because sometimes that's a hard one to remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, blender fabrics, as we were, blender fabrics. Uh, they are known as blender fabrics because it's not just one colour. You've got lots of different in there. So got. you've got your lighter, then your darker. Um, you've got your light background, your darker shade, and then the two together sort of give you a third shade to work your way through. So you've got a lovely grey there, which I'm going to reckon you are re going to recommend most people get. What? What? Grey. I wasn't paying attention. Um, Yes, that you one. always love a grey, don't you? I love a grey and a, and a kind of green. I think yeah, they're the most useful green. ones. Yeah, the, uh, most yeah. useful. Uh, I but quite then I like pink. that one. Yeah. Oh, that one's useful too. I, I like that. It's got a quite um, kind of nice classic goldy colour. The <laughs> sky blue. A royal blue. Purple. So then we've got black. Turquoise. You see, turquoise is one of my favourite colours. Um, I quite like turquoise and red together. Weirdly. Yes. I saw it on a show once and I was like, oh, oh actually, oh, that kind of works. <laughs> I'll be using that a bit. Uh, and there's your pink. Yeah, kind of retro, with, with the right shades. Kind yes. of retro. Yeah, right. yeah. Let's put um, those to one side. How I, are you getting I'm one just over there? stopped because we're just about to kind of join back up together. Okay. So that's just a case of, again, not going too fast, keeping an eye on where you're going and just make sure that you don't overlap too far. A few stitches is fine, that'll secure it, that means you don't have to tie off the backs. Um, but yeah, just a few stitches, you don't want too many because you don't want that big lump. So I'll chop that off. There you go. So that's at the bottom is the corner that we did kind of turning, turning, turning and it's much, much flatter. And then the one at the top, I mean they're both kind of equally nice straight corners and it just depends on how sharp a, a point you you want on them so i'm now going to swap the stitches up on this and we will put some seagulls in okay bye uh, once you do that let's have a little look bye. at the iron <laughs> now ev everyone's favorite iron since we brought this to air everyone's favorite iron i have to say i have to be careful now at home because I've been using this one so much and I really love it, I, I try and leave my own one at home just no, down. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need to get this just for safety reasons now. Uh, 134.99. But do you know what? It is worth becoming a Freedom member just for this, just for that iron. Um, I love it now. I was, I was dubious, but now I am a big convert and you can get it on three flexi pays. Um, that should be the last iron you ever have to buy. It will do all your ironing base needs. Um, there we go, it is your Smart Iron. Uh, and it's got lots of five star reviews, hasn't it? Mm. Oh yeah, much loved, okay. much loved iron. I wasn't paying attention again. <laughs> Hayley's like, what, 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 me? What? No, 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 the iron. Uh, right, Sorry. Fabric Freedom by the Sea. This is your one day special. You can choose from your blue and red, your teal and orange, or your blue and pink over here, plus your backing fabric. That's all in, deciding, deciding on which colour to go for. Um, a lot of the teal and orange has gone how much? 60%? 20%? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> getting a bit worried there um, and then you get your instructions as well this will make a whopping 70 inch by 70 inch quilt so the ones that we've got up on the upper aren't the full size they're just a, a sample size for you just to show you what the patterns will look like and how those colors work up so that's what the teal and orange look like and what the purple and uh, the pink and blue look like that's what those colors are going to work up like uh, but obviously they are much bigger in real life okay i think this price 74.99 is an incredible price especially as that is including your backing fabric and the pattern amazing and you can split that payment as well if you decide to go with the old flexi buy. Yeah, perfect. Uh, six seven one six six eight. Three colour options. Oh, we go back to Haley. Here we go. Uh, let's have a look on the website then. Now you can get a smaller block should you wish, or you can get the fabric on its own or the pattern on its own. 
Oh, no, you okay. can get extra so fabric. So extra you're fabrics, thinking backing, aren't you? Yes, yeah. I'm thinking backings. <laughs> or if you're looking to do um, the kind of the strip quilts and you may be just looking for one feature fabric and then you're going to put your own bits of your stash in to, to do the, the kind of thing that we're doing here, then that's a great way to do it as well. But there you go. the obviously value is in the one day special with the whole block. Now, this is another one. Um, I'm just going to check. I'm sure this one's four by four because that's a slightly smaller block than that one. So I'm sure it's four by four. So essentially, this blue one that's up here, you are going to make one that is uh, two along. So that quilt that you've got there, an extra one along. Wow. And an extra two down. So that's a whopper. Whew. It's a whopper. 70 inches Because that's huge. lap quilt size yeah, that we've yeah, got yeah. there. And 70 inches, basically. Those two together and then down to the floor. Yeah. It's a it's a really nice it big is a one. Big size. But you should you don't wish. have to have it in that no. format. With sixteen blocks you could do five by three. So again it can be a bed runner, table runner, something like that. You've got options as to how you put it together. That's because easier, it yeah. comes in that block format, you can kind of move it around to different Sorry. Or you might want to do a smaller <laughs> quilt and then some cushions that match. Absolutely. So you could use Absolutely. the block as an individual cushion. So maybe you made four cushions, that takes four of your blocks out you've got 16 that's still a three by four yeah. to a make bed a, yeah. a bed runner and some cushions that's it that's a that's a room redecorated isn't it it is it is you know that's for for what 74.99 not bad because mm. then you can just get a kind of a, an inexpensive plain white duvet or even a you can pick any of the colors that are there mm. and get a plain one and you're away done right done so there you go. We've, we've reorganised your homes yes, for you. Yes, there you go. That was easy. <laughs> uh, what are we How doing next? I'm really sorry, That's but I've right. got to leave it up to see what no, I'm no, doing. No, no, no. You've got to see what you're doing. <laughs> because if you put it down, you can't see the screen. And I need to see the screen to show you the next bit. So um, we've said about using the kind of satin stitches to do some different effects. And a lot of machines will have kind of decorative stitches. And there's often a lot on there. And you're like, mm, well, what do I do with that? There's a lot of what you do with that. <laughs> so I'm on this one using a, a kind of scalloped stitch and it's got, sometimes they'll kind of look as if they go the other way up. This one is, is for some reason that way up. And the reason it's for that way up is because it's showing me where, I'll just turn this screen around so you can see. It's showing me where my foot is and it's showing me how that stitch comes out as I'm looking at it coming out of the foot. So what that's telling me is because my foot's there, the, um, the kind of raised edge of that stitch is going to come out onto the right hand side. So if I'm putting seagulls in, I know I need that raised edge. Oh, actually, I was going to put them in the other way up, but now I've seen them like that. Yeah, I think I might you? have them that way around. Yeah. No, I was going to put them the other way up. Oh, I was no. going to put. I oh, was no, going to put flying. them kind of. Otherwise, they'll look like waves. Do you think? Okay, I'll turn it around. You see what I do? <laughs> I tend to do with the scallop one. I tend to do three together to be waves, or two to be seagulls. Right. We'll do. We'll have. We'll have a couple for seagulls then. Okay. Okay. So now that bottom's. But <laughs> no, I, had, I think I had it the right way up. Yeah, I had it the right way up. I should put it back in the other way around. <laughs> if decisions, in doubt, decisions. if in doubt, so a, a bit. Yeah, do a test so bit. So a bit first. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to do this way around. Well, let's just find out which way they come out. <laughs> um, okay, so on this one, I can adjust the stitch length and the stitch uh, width, and that's fine. I want it kind of as big as I can get it. That's down. Well, these seagulls are big. Yeah. Again, Ooh, not, the suspense, hey, not the suspense. pushing and pulling that machine, just letting it kind of do its own thing and stop. <sighs> Ideally, you want a little fixed stitch on there at the front of the end just to stop it moving, but I don't want it to go too far and make another seagull. Oh, look at him flying in the distance. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, See, anyway. I was, for some reason, I was going to go the other way up, but it definitely doesn't look right the other yeah. way up. I'm glad I turned that round. Yes. Um, and you can make those wider. So if I use the uh, width option on there, this may space out the... I don't want it quite as big as that. That's a very big seagull. 
and every time you change a sentence on this particular machine it will kind of start stitch again so I know I'm starting from a full seagull rather than uh, starting halfway through one I'm just keeping an eye on the stitch as it goes and when it reaches that lowest point uh, just fixing it off and taking it off from there there is a whopping seven and a half <laughs> meters of fabric in this bundle Figure. it's huge a, a bit like the seagull it's huge <laughs> it's this one is <laughs> this one's a monster <laughs> he is a monster the others have flown this away haven't this, they yeah, they're like, so they're like i'm out getting of out of here mate <laughs> we are out of there <laughs> so oh, that's wonderful from the, i mean this is one you can build up and strip quilts are really really fun because you can have a lot of fun you can put a lot of character into them as well and especially at this kind of scale let me just get that out of the way a second so then we can see what we're doing especially at this kind of scale because it's not so tiny yeah that you can't no. do things no, with it do you know what i mean he's he's probably about the smallest that i would i would go but you can just use those as quilting yeah on the background you don't yeah, need to do tons i'm just going to get rid of that thread because it's annoying me there we go better um, so you don't need to have tons of it. You just need to have the odd one here. Are you checking here out my, my little scissors? Yeah, no, I was. They have, they have elastic and that. Yeah, Rosella that has them. I Rosella has them. Quite and they've got a uh, needle sharper on the back as well. What? Yeah, and they're serrated. So when you've got thread, uh, you'll find them on the web because I know Rosella's got them on. Um, they don't slide out. Because oh you know how you've got them. Let me get these ones. I've well, I saw the orange handle and I thought I've it was going to be Fiskars. And I've then I was kind like, of no, defunct not. those ones because when you cut with these ones, it often rolls out the end. Oh, uh, that's so no you good. So you start with it and it starts to kind of, as yeah, you, as you cut, down. it's kind of sliding yeah. Yeah. as you cut. No, and you'll eventually that. catch up with it. Possibly. But it kind of slides mm. as, you, as you go. Because these are serrated, it completely stops it dead. Whoa, that's impressive. Good. And they've got a little, oh, yeah. and a little elasticated bit. Yes, yeah, so you don't poke Keep holes in your bags as well. <laughs> and then you don't lose Genius. it because it's on a bit of elastic. Genius. It's good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, Roselle had them on the other day. They, 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 they are a, a splendid, splendid, splendid thing. Yes, they are. So I think in the next hour, um, what we're going to do is we might put a few extra bits on here uh -huh. and then tomorrow morning we'll actually go and put the the main block together for that quilt because oh, nice. it looks quite complex yeah because it's a big block but there's nothing too difficult in there at all it's all triangles it's all, all triangles. triangles and rectangles that is all that's in there so that's going to be achievable yeah yeah we'll, we'll probably do that in the um in the nine o'clock hour Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. There you go. <laughs> Lots of sewing coming up for you tonight. 671 668. Cannot believe there's seven and a half metres in this bundle, plus your instructions. It's just incredible. And do you know what else is even better? You can split the payments in half, pay half now, half next month. Um, and if you're new to Flexi, let's hear a little bit more about what it's all about. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Affordable quilting. That's what we're bringing you for our one day special. Um, not because uh, we have skimped on quality or anything like that. No, 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 no. We just like to bring you the best possible deals that we can. So look here, seven and a half meters a of fabric <laughs> with 37 pounds off. 37 pounds off. Yes. That's massive. It's a lot. <laughs> That's meters and meters free, Hayley. It is. 
There we go. You're right yes, I'm fine. Because yeah. um, it's been jiggling about in the car, it just kind of slid Thanks. a little bit too far and yeah. locked itself. <laughs> I couldn't get it open. <laughs> so you're making a saving of £37. All you need pay today is 37.50. Split it over two payments. You've got three different colour options. The most popular at the moment is the teal and the orange, or that's in the middle. Then you've got your blue and your red to the left, and then pink and blue to the right. Okay. And this is going to make a 70 by 70 quilt. That's and what's huge. even more impressive, you get the backing as well in that price. You would be forgiven for thinking that for 74.99 you just got the fabric for the patchwork front. But no, 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 that has got your backing. It's like you're getting the backing for free. It is, that's yeah, and that's a huge piece of fabric. At. And it is a quilting weight cotton yes. that's included in there. It's, yes. it's not a cheaper fabric. That, no, on it no, not like at all. That. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the same weight as the fabric that has got the prints on yeah. so it's it's excellent because it's all the same weight and it's much easier to sew with when you do that so I have put the variegated thread on that we had a little look at before and um, there's some really nice um, iris cotton threads on which are again marathon threads mm. and they're the variegated ones and they're beautiful mm. to sew with because they are um, cotton and now what sort of bobbin fill are you using then with these well with this one I haven't changed it, so I've still got this normal polyester grey thread that I've got on the bottom. You can get bobbin fill ones which are a much finer thread, which yeah. obviously get you a lot more on, so you just have to change it less. It's it's personal preference, I think, on And is that, that uh, but then also that won't pull through as much, will it, if you're doing satin stitches and no. things like that? No, well, for this one, what I'm going to do is I've, I've just swapped to my free motion foot, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to do a little bit of free motion. We'll just put a couple of clouds in, because this oh, is a, a really nice variegated. It's all blues and kind of little bits of green in there as well, so nice for seas nice for kind of skies and things oh as well a so we'll just have a little bit of a put a little fluffy cloud in oh i might put it half behind the house let me just get that out of my way i should have pulled that one up from the bottom first but that's fine we can just pull it through the back getting rid of it i'll just snip it off for now we're going to go back over it anyway it's fine I'm going to make one that just comes up to the house mm. and we're going to make this one so it kind of goes behind the house a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to use a scribble effect where I'm going to come back and forth on the same line of stitching three times yeah, and just mix it, just miss where I've been previously just a little bit and that's going to help just add to the kind of hand stitched effect to it. Yeah. And go right up to there but not cross it over because obviously the um, the cloud is behind. I would normally maybe have done this first, but we're just filling in the gaps, aren't we? And just kind of dotting either side of those two lines just to create that more kind of scribbly, cloudy effect on there. And then stop. I'll just put a little fix on there because I don't want it to come loose. So now we've added seagulls and clouds to the background because when you quilt it it doesn't necessarily need to be a full piece of no, quilting it doesn't no. need to be a you know pattern that completely covers it because if you have a look at the two on the back here this one has nothing at all on it mm. okay and then the one next to it that's been done with a long arm a quilter it's got like a swirly yeah. sea kind of themed pattern on it and there is a big difference between it. What you'll find is, I mean, that one's got a little bit of quilting on. I think it's just got lines going uh, diagonally yeah, just to, yeah, yeah, hold, just to some hold everything bits in place. In place. Yes. But um, it doesn't have to be a set pattern that you what put on I've there. It can be just random bits. Um, obviously, with this, I haven't. I, I've done this straight onto the the batting first because I want a, a nice plain back which I then could come back and add additional pieces over the top but with it being quite a deep satin stitch on there that's not necessarily something that I want to show on the back of my quilt yeah, no, that's so that's enough. why we're attaching those first but this kind of thing where I'm adding the clouds and the that little might features have been nice that could be through. where the backing's on and you've got it all the way through yeah. so yeah, yeah. mix up those techniques it doesn't have to be all one thing 
you can have some that are just surface mounted and then come back and add other bits that kind of go all the way through to actually tie that quilt together. Fabulous. Now very popular this hour. Blenders. I'm going to put another cloud in. Blenders. Pick and mix. <laughs> Pick and mix. Should I show you the patterns on these? So what you have here is a pick and mix of half metres and you can pick two half metres. Or if you want a metre of the same fabric, then just pick the same colour twice. That's all you need to do. Um, and that's for 9 99 a metre of fabric for 9 99 That is your pink. Then you've got red. Then you've got your teal. Then you've got black. And then you've got purple. Then you've got royal blue. Then sky blue. And then your gold. Then your pink. And then your grey. Everybody needs mixers, blenders in their stash. And Fabric Freedom do a lot of these kind of mixer and, and blender fabrics. It's one of their kind of best it's one of sellers their strengths, isn't it? because it's um, it's just it'll go. With, some of these will go with anything, especially things like the greys and the golds in there. And if that's not what you want, if you've got a specific project in mind, then they're nice fabrics within their own right. You don't have to um, have them as blender fabrics. You can have them as feature fabrics in a yeah. project if you wish. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm just. I just wanted another cloud. That's okay. You have another cloud. I just, I just felt it needed one, another really. cloud, so I thought I would just while you were running through the colours. Yeah. I'll just crack on. Add another cloud. Yeah. Let's get I mean, according to all the weather reports, we are due many a cloud. I know. <laughs> I heard mm. about that. So I'm quite there glad I drove to down stay today. In to, to craft, <laughs> it's going to be tomorrow. So there you go. Just added a couple of those with that nice kind of scribbly effect and mix up those techniques. You can see loads of techniques here on Chanda. So <coughs> absolutely. It's a wealth, isn't up. it? You can pick and mix, yeah. you know, what you want. Not only on your fabric can you pick and mix, but you can pick and mix what you learn. And that's a nice way to use those strip quilts as well, because you can use all of those techniques. Not just, it's not just always has to be satin stitch. It can be a, a mixture. You can use those um, unusual stitches that you've got on your machine. You can use... Um, the, the kind of free motion options as well. You can use because templates, thing, you can use you know, whatever you like. When we get our machines and we get all excited by the number of stitches and then realistically, how often do we use anything other than a straight Mostly I use them thing? here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> To encourage people to, to use, use them. them. So this, it's about finding those opportunities, isn't it, to, to use I'm them. I'm going to find some more to use. Go on See, I've then. got caravans and bikes and things, but they're not really appropriate for this situation. I've not got a fish one. Hmm. See if I can find a fish one for later. See if you can. <laughs> Just see if you can. I reckon I could fashion a fish I from some other ones. F uh, well, you know, we'll leave Hayley to fashion a fish. <laughs> um, I mean, that's not mm. any sentence I thought I'd hear this evening. But uh, there we go. Uh, let's have a look. Of course, it's all on the web for you. So you can make your decisions whether you just want the pattern, whether you want additional fabrics, whether uh, you've seen one that you just simply have to have. Because let's face it, we've all been there with fabrics that we just have to have. Then yes, there they are. And there are mix and matches on there. Great prices on fabrics. There's that beautiful marathon pack um, with those threads that are just gorgeous. And then the iron. My favourite rotary cutter there. Also my favourite snips. Uh, yeah. Excellent filling. Excellent. Well, well yeah, no, it's all good. Oh, and a nautical quilt. <laughs> Very nice. Look, you see, that's got seagull on as well. Sorry. Uh, yeah. You right. did excellent Back on your fillings. Box. Yeah. Yeah. Where did it go? Over there. Oh, over there. It never usually box goes that, that far. Yeah. Not a wandering box. Just showing you why we have to have it. Because look. Where did Haley go? There she is. <laughs> see, if my daughter was watching, she'd be. In hysterics, thinking it was peekaboo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So stick on your steps. Okay. okay. I'll stay. I'll stay here on my step. Just you stay there. <laughs> right. We have got uh, the most favourite one, which is your teal and orange. That's good. It's the best one. Are you? Are you allowed? To I'm it? massively biased, and this is the one I like. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Enough. It's absolutely fair enough. Uh, <laughs> well, I think it's because the seagull's feet are the right colour. That's my whole reasoning. I love that, that you base your whole favourite on the yes, feet of seagulls. that's correct. 
Oh, seagull well. feet are the right colour, then that's the one to go for. There you go. Uh, um, also <laughs> available are other seagull coloured feet, uh, yes. features in the blue and red. Yes, yeah, so this one is the uh, blue Hang and on. red option. Don't they have, they've got pretty good coloured feet too. Yeah, but uh, they're, not as, uh, they're not as orange as those ones, they like the orange feet better. But <laughs> You're feetist. Do you think I'm feetist? Yeah. Okay. Uh, these guys over here, they don't stand a chance feet. then, do they? Because oh, they've no, got like purpley feet, purpley but they're cold. Yes. Clearly cold, cold feet. Cold seagulls. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but then that makes it quite fresh and, and different looking because it's got kind of quite contemporary colours in rather than the traditional ones. Yes. And I quite like that too. But, but the orange ones the orange. my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case anybody was in any kind of... No, they are all lovely. <laughs> the orange one's my favourite. <laughs> um, Oh, I'm enjoying this actually. Over Do you like here. that one? Yeah, I like I like purple. Well, they're quite non. Color. I mean, they, that one goes beautifully with that next option that we've got because oh, all here, of the colours here. in there are picked Work out in the, the, the floral mix. options. Yeah, yeah, they are indeed they <laughs> are. But look, you can get these. There's a whopping seven and a half meters of fabric. We should have put that on the detail, shouldn't we? Seven and a half meters of fabric here. I'm sure, we can type it in between yeah. hours or something. Well, I can't. Someone might be able to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll just get just some so passwords off people. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <gasps> That'd uh, be great if we could type the stuff in, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be hilarious? <laughs> yes. It's probably we have best our own we descriptions. Don't, yeah, there's a reason we're not given <laughs> passwords. Uh, <laughs> two payments of £37.50. <laughs> yeah, there is a reason we're there not is a reason. passwords to anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm enjoying working here. Let's not yeah. cut it short. Uh, £74.99. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't feel like work, that's why. Okay. Uh, 74 99 gets you uh, seven and a half metres of fabric and your pattern, includes your backing fabric as well. It's just incredible value. Shop on the web, we've got lots of mix and matches, we've got lots of fabrics. We have. It's all very nautical themed it is. today, isn't yes, it? it? Which I quite is. like. I have a seaside house, so I'm loving it. Whereabouts? Uh, up, up north in Whitley uh, Bay. Do uh, you? Yes. Very good. It's nice. Very Nice. Oh, <laughs> there you go. You see, it's because it makes you feel at home. Yes, there it really. does. It does yes. make me feel very much at home. There you go. <laughs> and uh, you're going to be back with this. Just see which one. Mine's probably a bit like uh, that one. That that this townhouse. one. Townhouse. Little townhouse. Yeah. Bottom on, yeah. the, on the corner. Oh yeah, I haven't got enough time. You have to oh. show us at nine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll nine o'clock. That's we what will, I'll do. We will look at your house at nine. Okay. And these. <laughs> see you in a moment. <laughs> 